Say you're putting together a rocket, like a two-stage rocket like this, where the fins nest between each other. And then you look down between the fins and you notice a gap between them where they're supposed to be nice and straight with no visible light that comes between the fins. So how do you fix this type of problem? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm going to show you how to fix a gap between two fins. Now, this rocket is the Nike Hercules, and this is the upper stage. And I've got this gap right here between these two fins, and I want to fill it. So the first thing you have to do in this situation is determine what side of the fin is causing the problem. And it might be both. And in this case, it is both. I can tell it's both because this right here is not flush with the edge of the tube. So what you want to do first is to fix that because you need to have all the fins on one plane to be equal. So I'm going to take a flat surface and I'll just put it here. And I don't think you can see this, but I can see a gap right here between the fin and the edge of the surface. So I need to fill that first. That part is the easiest part. So I'm going to take a sheet of balsa wood and I'm just going to put it over the edge and then take a pencil and then draw a line around it like that. And I'm going to cut this piece out and glue it here. I'm going to take some thick CA and I'm going to put that on the edge here. Okay, and I just take some accelerator, hit that real quick. Now I'm going to sand that off to make it nice and neat. So you know, first I'll take off that tip, I'll just cut that off, and then I'll sand this down. Okay, now. I'm hoping that it hangs over a little bit so that I can sand it off. So I'm going to put it on my sanding block on the surface of the tube and go in a circular motion to sand that edge down. Okay, now I'm going to check it again here. And I actually put a little star right here so I can match up my fins so I can see where the problem is. So first I want to just double check that there's no gap here between my nose cone and my tube when I put them together. And then I can see the gap. Now I could either build it up with balsa wood, but it's not going to be perfect because once you start sanding, your pressure is never even. So what I'm going to use is epoxy clay. I'm going to use the Fix-It epoxy clay here. Okay, I've been mixing my epoxy clay for a few minutes and it's well mixed. You can see it's not much. Next, we want to take a sheet of plastic. Well, actually, before we do that, I want to seal this surface so that the epoxy sticks to it really well. Balsa wood, because it's porous, the epoxy just doesn't grip it. It needs a nice clean surface. So I'm going to seal it by using some CA. And I'll put that on the surface and then wipe it off. And that's going to seal my surface of the fin, which is going to give the epoxy something to grip to. On the other end, what we're going to do is we're going to put the epoxy on the edge of the fin and then smash them together. But we don't want to stick the things together where they won't come apart. So on this side, what I'm going to do is I just got a piece of plastic with some masking tape on it. And I'm going to wrap that around the front edge of the fin. So when I smash the epoxy up against it, it won't stick to this side. I'm going to take a little bit of epoxy clay, just going to roll it out. I want to cover this edge, and that's probably way too much. But that's okay. I want it to ooze out. So we're going to slam them together and push them in as tight as you can to make sure that there's no gap here. Okay, so it did ooze out a little bit. I don't want to take off too much epoxy because I don't want to you know, ruin that edge that I'm going to create. So I'm just cutting off a little bit of the excess. And you can also, you know, try to smooth it out. 
fill in any gaps that you might have. Okay, so now I'm gonna just gonna let that harden. And for this epoxy clay, it's about a four hour cure, but I'm gonna leave it overnight. And then I'll come back and we'll take it apart and we'll clean it up. At this point, the epoxy is hard and I can separate the parts. Because I put plastic here, the epoxy is gonna separate really easily like that. I mean, you can see I've got a nice straight line right there. And at this point, it's a matter of cleaning it up it's probably not going to cut very easy. You can kind of scrape to clean it up. I prefer to use a file. Now when you file, don't push this way. That would push it off of the balsa wood. Push this way so that you're sanding into it so there's no chance of accidentally knocking it off. Because there is that possibility if the epoxy didn't adhere well that it might pop off. So now I'm just kind of sanding it down. And I would just go very light on that bottom edge because when you put it back together, we don't want it to have a new gap. This was the fin that was had the gap in it. There it is right there. And you can see that it's nice and tight right now. So now when I go to paint it, it's gonna look pretty good. I can see I got a little bump right there. So for that one, sanding block and smooth it off. That is the technique of filling a gap between two fins. Give us a thumbs up and let us know that you like this video. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. May the winds be light and the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true.